hospital after being woken by flames at her home early this morning. Also coming up on the programme, putting the squeeze on pollution. Crush your car for cash and help clean up the environment. Trouble in store, how rent hikes are forcing some of the capital's old established shops out of business. And tour guide Tony Adams explains why he's aiming for the top. And keeping up with the Joneses, we're at the pop bash of the year, the Brits. First tonight, Des O'Connor's daughter has been injured in a fire in North London. The blaze broke out at Sam O'Connor's home in Muswell Hill early this morning. She's now recovering in hospital and has spoken exclusively to London tonight about what happened. Glenn Campbell reports. The charred remains of Samantha O'Connor's flat in Muswell Hill, North London, after fire crews finished damping down. The daughter of chat show host Des O'Connor was woken at 5am this morning by the smell of thick smoke. She had to run through the burning building. London tonight spoke to her from her hospital bed, where she's being treated for burns to her legs and feet. My feet were obviously walking on, you know, burning carpet to get to get out to the front door. But you don't really think about things like, you know, you just you just want to get out. I mean, I'm I'm quite lucky because if my escape route had have been stopped, uh, it's, it's a good 40 foot down. Terrifying, really, until it happens to you. I mean, people really, really need to get smoke alarms. Absolutely, definitely. I had smoke alarms, but. Uh, We'd redecorated, and so they hadn't gone up yet. This afternoon, a family friend returned to the flat, hoping to salvage some of Samantha's belongings. Absolutely lucky to be alive. When you see the apartment, it is remarkable, really, that anybody managed to survive that, because, as you're aware, it's smoke that ordinarily kills people, and all of the walls are completely blackened, and it's a miracle. Last year, Samantha and her fellow residents hit the news with their campaign, protesting against a mobile phone company wanting to erect a mast on their rooftop. This evening, it's believed Des O'Connor is at his daughter's bedside, relieved she's escaped alive. In Muswell Hill, this is Glen Campbell for London Tonight.